So after uh, a long process of playing around with this recipe and that recipe, I've come up with two different versions of my challenge beer. Um, still playing around with the recipe, so I'm not sure if this is where I'm going to go or not. Um, when I was making up the recipe, I made up three gallons of it, and I used one gallon jars, one gallon jugs to ferment it. Important thing, don't fill them all the way up to here because you'll have a huge blowout and you'll have beer everywhere. Not that I did that, but I just want to let you know that's probably something you shouldn't do. So at the local brewery store, I found these caps. They have a hole in them. You screw onto one gallon jug. Real important, you use the round airlocks. Round airlocks fit in there nice and tight. If you decide to use the curly Q ones, which I had plenty of, there is no sealing ability for it. So had to go with a different method to make sure the primary didn't uh, get messed up. I bought some more of the round ones and on the secondary, the solution was solved. So with that being said, let's get back to the challenge beer. So I made up uh, trying to brew something locally and uh, the only thing that popped into my head really was Ohio State Buckeyes. So I came up with National Champion Buckeye Stout. It's a chocolate peanut butter stout. Thought it was a unique idea when I first started doing it. Um, I've seen a ton of videos about it now after I've already done it. So, oh well. I'm trying one method. If this method doesn't actually work out for the peanut butter flavoring, I'm going to go to another method. But without any further ado, I've got uh, one batch. I'm not even sure which batch has what in it. Um, got two different batches. The red label I'm going to use in the red glass and the American flag cap I'm going to use in the uh, White House honey porter glass. So without further ado, let's open them up, see if we have any carbonation hiss. Very little hiss on that one. And we'll give it a pour and see what it looks like. These are two weeks. And that's pretty aggressive pour and there is really no carbonation with the red label beer. Smells stouty, smells dark. And we'll give the other one a try also. Not much of a hiss with that one either. Like I said, it's two weeks. Try this again at three weeks and four weeks and see where we are there. These are bottle condition, and neither one of them have very much head whatsoever. Really no carbonation to speak of. That is completely black, can't see through it. That one's a little bit murky still. Has a nice coffee aroma to it. This has coffee and a little bit of toffee aroma to it also. So we'll give it a taste and see what it tastes like. Real little carbonation. Tastes like a sweet stout. It's really not too much difference between these two. Not picking up any peanut butter whatsoever in this one. Maybe a, a little bit of grittiness on the back end.
chocolate, coffee, about it. Not really getting much in the peanut butter unless maybe the peanut butter is showing up as some uh, a little bit of the uh, sweetness flavor I'm getting. Maybe that's actually like uh, a little bit of the peanut butter coming through. The peanut butter I've been playing around with uh, using PB2. One of these I brewed up with chocolate and the regular PB2 and one of them I use the uh, chocolate flavored PB2 which of these it is I can't really tell you right now because the only difference in them is the labels the caps and it's been two weeks since I put them in the bottles and uh, I've only been keeping track of it really on paper so with that said let's try the other one like I said this one had a little bit of toffee and is just a little bit clearer. Again, can't see through that whatsoever. It is black. So, got the book here. This is my Bible of recipes I've made. After I taste this, I'm going to write down my impressions of each. And uh, I'll go back to the book and I'll find out which one was actually which one. I think that one has a little more, a little more chocolate flavor. So it might be the one I added the chocolate to it. But like I said, no carbonation whatsoever. Uh, I primed this just like a regular batch of uh, stout um, with the five grams or five ounces per uh, five gallons. So I actually backed it down to uh, for each batch. I batch back uh, back down to one ounce per uh, five gallon batch. I can tell you right now, this one might have a little bit more peanut butter than the other one, but still uh, far from where it needs to be. So I think we're going to have to go back to the uh, drawing board and see where we went astray. Probably going to have to quadruple up the uh, peanut butter flavor on this or go with another method of adding peanut butter to it. Um, but we shall see. So if I was going to go compare both of these, Just offhand, I'd say I like the American flag better. Appears to be maybe a little bit clearer. Very little difference between the two, though. And uh, one of them I had a lot of uh, chocolate flavor, too. Um, so that one was just a straight PB2. And that one was the PB2 and chocolate. But this is the PB2 with chocolate. So 
so we'll see. Maybe get some uh, peanut butter extract and uh, play around with that. See maybe if I can add some to each bottle that I've got right now to see if maybe I can bring up excuse me um, the amount of peanut butter flavor in each one and uh, really doesn't look like there's been too much uh, yeah, a little bit of carbonation uh, sediment on the bottom. But we'll see what happens. Um, maybe I'll get some peanut butter extract and play around with the bottles I have right now to see how much peanut butter extract I have to add to each one. And then calculate that out times 48 to uh, get my amount to add to the entire batch of a five gallon batch. Chocolate, I think, is right there. Um, but the peanut butter is really, really lacking. So that's it for today. Um, just a little testing. I've just all been working on lately. I've been, uh, like I said, I made the five, the three gallon batch, put in primary, put in secondary. After it was in secondary, I bottled it and uh, did the tasting of the, you know, the partial bottles last week. There was no carbonation to that, and. Uh, did the tasting this week with no carbonation to this. So maybe if next week uh, we don't have any carbonation in these bottles at all, maybe I'll uh, go to the PB, uh, uh, the peanut butter extract, and hopefully uh, that clears up the problem. But I think I'm close. I like the stout flavor. I like the chocolate flavor. And... Uh, really a toss-up. I mean, both of these are real close. You really can't tell which one has the extra chocolate into it. So I may just go straight grains for the peanut butter or for the uh, stout and chocolate flavors and then add the peanut butter extract to it, depending on what happens with the, uh, the carbonation. I mean, it could be that the PB2 does not accept carbonation. Maybe uh, it's a head killer. So don't know. But like I said, after I saw a lot of the uh, peanut butter and uh, peanut butter chocolate stouts out there, I figured I might as well just come on out and uh, let you guys know what I'm thinking about doing for the uh, challenge beer. So still a work in the progress and uh, hopefully we can get the recipe right and uh, I think we're halfway there. I think uh, the remainder of it's not going to be that tough to achieve if we go with the extract flavoring. So, we'll see. So, with that being said, cheers. Have a good one.